Greetings YouTube! This is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001 making another on-camera appearance. Although, this time, I don't have a thing to say about toys. Unless people want to know about the progress I'm making with uh, my current custom commission. Uh, he's gone. He's gone. Hopefully I'll have that done by today. Have him ready to sh be shipped out tomorrow or Tuesday. But really, I want to talk about a once-in-a-lifetime event and that is the Venus transit. Um, the, you know Mercury and Venus orbit the Sun closer than we do so every now and then the planets line up in such a way that one of them passes in front of the Sun's disk. Uh, in Venus's case um, there's a lot of complicated math but it basically works out that um, twice a century like like it happened back in 2004 and it's gonna happen again um, if you live in the New York area where I live it'll be around June 5th um, in in New York specifically June 5th around 5 p.m. hoping that we're gonna have a nice sunny day because I'm gonna try and capture it uh, let's see uh, yeah if you miss this opportunity uh, you can probably look at it online there'll be plenty of people on YouTube uh, plenty of science organizations putting up videos about it and hopefully me putting up a video about it but if you want to observe it yourself do not look directly at the Sun oh I cannot stress this enough um, the, anyway the Venus would be like the size of a pinhead it's only about 1 30th the diameter of the Sun so you could see it if you put on a pair of eclipse glasses or welders goggles but you know anything less than that you're gonna go blind and even if you have that it would probably be hard to see because it would be like it would be like seeing a uh, uh, what's the tiniest bug I can think of uh, it's 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 more difficult than seeing an ant crossing across the surface of a dime held at arm's length more difficult than that so I'm going to try and capture it with an indirect method. Now, some people talk about pinhole projecting, um, and that, that, that could work, except that uh, the problem with a pinhole camera is since you're, you're blocking out most of the light, it's going to be a very dim image. So I am going to take advantage of something that I got. Uh, now I'm just going to cut to a different camera so I can show you what I'm talking about. And this is what I refer to, my telescope. Um, it is a Telestar by Mead. Um, it's a very basic uh, lens telescope. Uh, you can probably get a telescope like this at Toys R Us for um, 30, maybe 50 bucks at the most. It's not a very fancy piece of equipment. It's just, just a regular old fashioned telescope. So, on the day of the um, on the day of the event, I'm going to point this baby directly at the sun, wherein the light will go through the telescope and come out here as a as a very bright beam, uh, which will project onto a card and allowing us to see the sun's disk and hopefully the little planet Venus as it crosses in front. I shouldn't call Venus the little planet because it's actually about the same size as the Earth. But yeah, I use this telescope to look at the moon. Sometimes I observe the moons of Jupiter. It's not a particularly powerful telescope, but it is, it is nice and it's something that you could probably buy. And uh, well, there's only two days before the transit, so if you want to try observing directly, then, well, this is an indirect observation. Looking directly is looking at the sun, which you do not do with this. Because, um, the, since this is focusing the light into a point, um, the sunlight coming out of there, if you put your eye right up to the eyepiece, it would not only be bright enough to instantly blind you, but it would also have the same heat energy as a lit match. So, you could quite literally burn yourself. Fortunately, due to the inverse square law, the farther away as your, in, as your distance from the 
from the uh, lens doubles, the intensity of light goes down by a factor of four. So holding a paper way back here will project a nice big image of the sun and the light will have been diffused enough that it won't really carry enough heat energy to burn my papers. So yeah, hoping for clear skies on June 5th, because we are going to be looking for some planets.